our next report is retention. And this is really one of the, also the most popular reports that Mixpanel offers. And uh, retention is a way for us to group users into cohorts and then see how the performance of those cohorts changes over time. So we sort of uh, limit things. Uh, so we're able to better analyze changes in a product or messaging or anything else. Right? There are different few kinds of retention here, recurrent, first time addiction. They all function fundamentally very similar. So we're actually gonna use first time as a way to explain how the report works. Now the first time we typically wanna look at something that happens maybe only once or happens very rarely in the product. Uh, the most common use case here might be to say, show me users who signed up uh, in the last 30 days and then did this action and they came back and did something else, right? Or in this case, you know, they signed up and they came back and did something else. In this case, in our little query here, what we'll do here is, you know, we'll look at all users who load a puzzle and they came back and completed the puzzle, right? So we'll look at those two very similar actions here. Um, we can, of course, filter uh, any of the events by, by event properties or people properties. So we might only want to look at iOS users or Android users. We can do that at the same time, right? And there's a lot of cohort functionality that's built in if that's something that's available in your account. Then we get the, the cohort analysis table here as a default option. And the way you can read this is, you know, in January 10th, there were 1,014 users who loaded a puzzle. So these are unique users. And then about 72% of those completed the puzzle within less than one day, and then in one day, and then two days, and three days, and so on. This is daily uh, retention here. We can make that weekly or monthly, right? So now this is able to group the, you know, there's 1,014 users, and we can then see their specific performance 10 days out, 11 days out, you know, weeks or months out, right? This is quite handy because then we can we can start to take uh, maybe very simple cohorts and say uh, monthly, let's say monthly signups, and then see how those monthly signups are actually being retained three, six, 12 months out after your product. Um, and we're able to uh, sort of keep some things constant, right? We know what the, what maybe what plans they were on when they signed up, what was the, the value proposition when they signed up and things like that. Uh, there's a, a few other things. So instead of looking at percentages, we can look at actual numbers, if that's something that's more helpful, right? And we could look at uh, a retention uh, curve, or we can actually see the, the different days and how the retention curves change over time. Uh, now it's helpful when you have so many. If we move from daily retention to, let's say, weekly retention, let's see what we get here. So we get slightly, you know, slightly less data here, and let's make it, let's say, past 12 weeks. So we get a little bit less, right? Uh, maybe we make this as a monthly and so on and, and get, get, a different, uh, get a different breakdown. Let me go back to a cohort table. Oh, it's a little bit too much. Let me make that weekly. And really, at a, at a very simplified level, you know, we, we look at future cohorts and see how, you know, the performance is changing uh, over time, right? Uh, what, is, what is going on in week four or month four or, or, and so on, right? We're able to, to filter down. So one cool thing is you can actually also use segments uh, besides dates. So you can use things like uh, properties, event properties, people properties, things like that. Um, and it'll change it and just give you the same idea and it'll kind of group things by, by that property. So maybe if it's country, it will group all the US users and then give you the same kind of weekly breakdown or, or daily breakdown retention that, that you see here, right? Uh, this is also, you know, we can download the data as a CSV or add it to a dashboard, right? And the other two kinds uh, might be more helpful reten um, retention models, you know, recurrent retention. See users who are maybe completing a specific action, like maybe puzzle completed, right? How many of them are starting that and they're coming back and repeating that? Um, if you're, let's say, an e-commerce store, how many people are kind of re reordering, right? Uh, repeating orders. And addiction is something that Mixon has had for a long time as, as well, uh, which is similar to recurring or really talking about frequency, uh, but it limits things a little bit, right? Uh, so it's just how often people are using this in a, in a specific time frame, in this case, a uh, week here. But you can see that the format is still very similar. We have this cohort analysis uh, format or, or report that we can that we can build out. And that's retention. Again, one of the, the fundamental key reports in Mixpanel uh, that you'll be using quite a bit.